Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. My name is Michael from Weeby Autos. We've got a 1972 Camaro Z28, uh, 350, four speed, matching numbers, gorgeous car. We've got the owner Rob here, he's gonna tell us a little bit about it. How you doing, Rob? Good, how you doing? Awesome, so what yeah, do you got? It is an original 72 Z28. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually has the M22 transmission, which is one of like 700 and change uh, wow. with that transmission. So it's pretty rare, it's got typical, uh, M22 transmission wine that everybody paid a lot of extra money for. It's actually a $275 option. I love the wine uh, in that training yeah. though. It's awesome. Uh, it was an original owner family uh, from the beginning of time, probably till about two years ago. Um, the car has original tires, original style tires on it. It's all numbers matching from the carburetor, distributor, uh, engine block, transmission, rear end. The car was brought into uh, the body shop for restoration back in 1987. It didn't come out. It wasn't completed until 1991. Jeez. All of the parts used on the car were purchased brand new from General Motors before they went out of production. Uh, I have all of the receipts from all of the said components that were installed in the car. Yeah. Uh, the car, believe it or not, actually has 20-year-old paint on it, and it looks like it was painted. It really ago. does, right? Yeah. It's, Wow. crazy, but it hasn't been used since it's done. That's when the car was brand new. fantastic. I can't believe this paint is 20 years old. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. The paint quality is a lot better. Sale, along yep. with the window sticker uh, that you just saw. Interior is gorgeous. <sighs> Man, look at that. And all the gauges work. It's got the original correct 6500 RPM redline tachometer. It was only came with the LT1 transmissions. Oh, really? It came with uh, her shifter? Uh, yep, that's the original wow. her shifter. That's cool. Man, beautiful. The e brake works. <laughs> Imagine that. Good thing in a Ford. <laughs> Man, it's gorgeous. Are they radial tires just designed uh, no, to play polyglass? The original bias fly tires. Uh, they were used on their replicas, they're not from 1972. Yeah, that's cool. But they uh, are made to look exactly like the original. <laughs> The engine was rebuilt. Uh, it's close to 1970 specifications, so you're able to gain more horsepower. Uh, so it's up to about 325 horsepower. I have the complete engine documentation of how it was built, what went into it. That was done about 8,000 miles ago. Wow. Uh, the only thing not original to the engine is the uh, exhaust headers. Uh, you could put manifolds and spawn back on it, but it does choke the engine power down. I think I like it just the way it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody Definitely did Definitely pretty back cool, then. yeah. It's a modification that someone would have done in 72, you know? Yeah. Yank they the smoke. Yeah, and air, <laughs> air shocks. But yeah, <laughs> air shocks Everybody in the back. The center lines, you know? Sick.
let's check out the trunk. This is the original trunk floors. Frame rails are all original. Uh, all of the sheet metal in the car, uh, from the frame rails to the floors, is all original. Uh, it did have full General Motors quarter panels installed wow. back in 89. Again, of which we have all documentation of everything that was done. The car still retains its original red oxide primer cool. uh, up underneath by the gas tank. Uh, wherever the wheel wells weren't undercoated from the factory when it was new, still retains that. Wow. Still has the speckled paint from 1971. The yep, that's the bill of sale. 3100. <laughs> well, that was, I think they traded, they gave a thousand dollar deposit. It was a 41. Wow. 4200 dollar car. That's cool. So, so what bit. else we got in there? Yeah, we have uh, the original owner's manual from the car. That's cool. The complete spec sheet on the engine that was rebuilt. Uh, there's probably 25 GM receipts here uh, mm -hmm. showing all of the parts that were purchased before they went out of uh, production uh, in anticipation of the restoration, as most of these cars needed back then. Uh, also, other miscellaneous auto parts receipts. Mm -hmm. Then you have all the receipts from the body shop uh, showing the dates of the deposits. The gentleman paid about $5,800 just in labor alone to do the car, and he has individual receipts every time he dropped off another $1,000 to the body shop. And then there's also a list showing that everything that was done. Wow. And oh again, just stacks and stacks of more receipts of everything that was done over time. Beautiful. You know, the car has perfect paperwork from the beginning of its life till now. Uh, what's authenticating everything that it is. Definitely pretty cool, man. And it drives fantastic. It looks fantastic, too. Well, guys, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Michael from Weeby Autos. Uh, if you guys have any questions, give us a buzz. Our number is 631-339-0399. And uh, if you'd like more pictures and details and information, uh, check out our website. It's WeebyAutos.com. Thanks a lot.